guys. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, <clears throat> ignore my messy bedroom. I've been working a lot, so I haven't had a chance to um, clean. So, anyway, this is kind of a spur of the moment type video, and I have no control over the words that are coming out of my mouth right now. So, sit back and enjoy the ride. Um, anyway, uh, I kind of have no topic for this video. Yay! <laughs> I just knew that I wanted to go home after work and make a video so here I am um anything you guys want to talk about anything no okay um so I'll, I'll do all the talking you guys just sit back and listen and you know I'll do all the talking y'all just chill out I guess what I wanted to to really say is um You know, I, I'm 40 years old, y'all. I know, I know, it's hard to believe. But no, I'm 40 years old. Just kidding, I know. Um, I'm just now coming into my own. I'm just now realizing what I want to do with my life. I don't mean career-wise wise because I already know, you know, what I'm doing with that. I'm talking spiritually, okay? Spiritually, I'm coming into my own. And uh, we all know what that is. Um, I'm studying Wicca and witchcraft and um, still Christian, still... Um, I, I don't know the words are escaping me right now but anyway my point is is I am studying Wicca and witchcraft and ever since I've started studying it and it's been about two years now since I've been studying I have become a person that I love I love myself I love the fact that I love nature so much I have a newfound respect for nature sorry <laughs> I just hit the table that y'all are sitting on sorry um ever since I you know I I know as a Christian you're taught you know that that God created the trees God created the sky that everything the universe okay but since I've been studying Wicca I don't know what it is I just have a newfound respect and I, I've, I see the beauty of nature. The ocean has always been a big, big part of my life, okay? So that's nothing new. But my newfound love for the mountains and the, the trees and the leaves and insects, even insects, you know, everything. It's pretty cool to me. So, um, I guess the moral of the story is you're never too old to, uh, come into your own, so, so to speak. <clears throat> you're never too old to find yourself. You're never too old to change. You can change your point of views. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you know, you don't have to, um continue having the same point of views as you've had ever since you were a child and just because that is what has been embedded in your head all your life if, if it doesn't feel right to you then you don't have to follow it there is no set rule saying you have to follow it so that's all I wanted to say about that you know it's just um Society, you know, society, oh my gosh, that's a whole nother topic I could get on right now. I'm not going to, so I'll shut up about society. I hate society most of the time. No, I'm just kidding. That's another thing. Um, since I've started studying Wicca, I'm calmer. That's not to say I don't want to throat punch some people some sometimes because I do, you know, but for the most part, I'm calmer. 
a more zen like yeah I love myself now so that's all I wanted to say yay <laughs> no um, I got something else I want to say too and my husband's in the other room and he's probably listening to me and he's probably gonna freak out but let me tell you <clears throat> you see this mess right here I just got it out of a ponytail okay I love my hair don't get me wrong I love my hair and it's taken me a long time to get it this long it's taken me a long time and I want it to get even longer my problem is is that it's falling out <laughs> I need, I'm going to start taking some vitamins, but um, I want thick hair. And I've stopped. Okay, I still wash my hair. Don't get me wrong. I still wash it. I've stopped brushing my hair because every time I brush it, my hair falls out. So um, if you guys have any other ideas about how to... Uh, get thicker hair or to keep what little bit of hair you do have um, I'm all for it please give me some ideas please um, but yeah and people with dreadlocks y'all their hair is so thick and so pretty it's a thought that crossed this mind right here more than one time um, my husband does not want me to get dreads. He's totally dead set against it, but, you know, it's my hair, so we'll see what's going to happen with it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I probably won't get dreads. I'll probably just start taking the vitamins, and like I said, I've stopped brushing it. I just kind of, um, kind of rub my fingers through my hair a little bit. But even when I, when I take my hair out of the ponytail, it still falls out. So, if you guys have any ideas on how to keep thick hair, or get thick hair, let me know. Um, I guess that's it. I'm done with the whatever you want to call it. Um, let me know what you think. Like I said, um, dreads possibility, and uh, let me know what you think, if, I, if you think I should try it or no. Because I think that um, dreadlocks are a very spiritual, very spiritual thing. Um, their dreads are not just something that you do for a hairstyle. Not usually. Uh, to me, dreads are very personal. And if I did decide to go down that path, um, it would be very cool to me. It would be very awesome. Because, you know, like I said, it's a spiritual thing. So, uh... Anyway, just you guys stay true to yourselves. Um, if you, like I said, if you don't, if you don't believe that you you are where you're at spiritually, career wise, anything at this point in your life, it's never. I don't care if you're 80 years old. It's never too late to change. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Thank you for listening to me. If you like this video, please like it. Click that like. If you like this video and another video and another video, subscribe to me. <laughs> um, but I, I do. I appreciate you guys listening to me. I know that I'm probably boring and rambling and whatever, but I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys later.